Okay, He's got a car going down the wrong way on the Highway 195. I mean, he is flying, barely missing it. Okay. Anybody out there? I'm not sure, but we'll let somebody know. Please do, because I'm afraid he's going to have a head on, all right? Our high-speed wreck is always supposed to be with him. I've been needed for about two weeks. Just getting to know everybody. This is my workout buddy. And uh, they're both very good friends with both of us. Didn't seem to me like he had a problem with drinking. What I've got here oh, Jesus. is what this accident looked like. The primary factors that we found so far in this wreck is extreme high rate of speed, uh, recklessness in driving, and we have a strong suspicion of intoxication involvement. Our investigation of this wreck shows that this car driven by the two, by the young soldier was coming north on Fort Hood Street at a high rate of speed. They passed the vehicle, cut it off, uh, drove into the oncoming traffic lanes, swerved back into the, the northbound lanes, and as they approached the intersection here, it appeared they tried to make the corner, cut through the turn lane, struck the curb, came across the street here, and struck this median strip, which kind of launched them in the air, and then drove directly into the uh, wall. A little after midnight, maybe 12, 15, I got a call to say we had two fatalities right outside Eastgate. They called commanding general, told him, he said, let's go have a look. That time the doors were still on because they couldn't get them open. Then the general and I watched them for 45 minutes pry the doors off these things just to reveal two young soldiers slumped over the steering wheel and uh, laying down in the passenger side. We looked at each other. And, I mean, our hearts broke, because I have children this age. I said, what a waste. Two great soldiers, just getting here brand new to our new BCT. We're standing up, ready to go, and, uh, and this is the end result. And then the general and I looked at each other, and we said, well, tomorrow we're going to have to call some parents up. How can we get a message across to these young soldiers that they're important to us, they're precious to their parents, and we need them? So how do we how do we prevent them from doing this? I've been known him briefly. Um, I've been needed for about two weeks. Just getting to know everybody. Just trying to get a, a base down on who's who. And uh, I think as a leader, I probably could have done more uh, to look for some warning signs if a soldier had a problem. There's always warning signs.